Buju Gakanawiya. Hi everyone, it's Tashina. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the head of Indigenous Programming and Engagement here at the Manitoba Museum. And today I'm going to be taking you along through a day in my life working at the museum. So the first thing I do in the morning is check my emails. Today I had to answer emails about collections tours and school programs and some new and exciting collaborations that we're working on. After I answer all my emails, I head over to the Northeast Wing to begin prepping for a collections tour. And here's my amazing director, Zoe, who is like a ray of sunshine and is the best director a girl can ask for. So now I'm just taking a shortcut through our shop and then that brings me out into our Hudson's Bay Company gallery. From there, I key up to the Northeast Wing where we keep our Hudson's Bay Company collection. So the first thing I do when prepping for a behind the scenes collections tour is check the database for which artifacts I want to pull into the lab. And today I'm pulling pieces that showcase quill work. So I'll just take down the catalog number and the artifacts storage location. Once I have all my choices, I'll take a cart and go into the storage. So you'll see that I already have a couple items pulled, but I wanted more of a variety of quilled pieces. The first thing I'm going to pull is this quilled belt, and then I wanted these beautiful moccasins to show all of the different artistic mediums that this person used alongside the quill work. Then after pulling a couple more pieces, I'll head back over to the lab and lay everything out on the table. In this case, I laid all of the artifacts out according to the technique used. So we've got all of the stitch down work together, and then the wrapping and the loom quill work. When I'm done setting up the lab for my behind the scenes tour, I'll head down to one of my program rooms to prep for a school program that I'm scheduled for. For this program, we have the students build a mini teepee together, so I just want to make sure that the tripod is still nice and secure. After a quick meeting with my director, Zoe, I head back to my office to work on some things for an indigenous artist market that we have coming up. So here I'm just working on a digital artwork for the event promo. And for this graphic, I was inspired by my Anishinaabe roots, so I wanted to make it a really vibrant floral design. If you're interested in learning more about the Indigenous Artist Market, or if you want to be a vendor, you can visit our website through the link in the caption. Chimigwitch for tagging along on a day in my life at the Manitoba Museum.